So, what makes you happy? Well, I can speak for myself, but I can't speak for others. Music is definitely the main passion in my life, and it makes me very happy. I was three when I started playing drums, and I was 14 when I started playing bass. Well, I formed the band Scope last year. Uh, Scope stands for some kind of psychedelic experience. We have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash scope music. Check it out. Um, uh, and after college, hopefully, it'd be tight if that band got big, but that doesn't, that doesn't happen, which is unlikely. That doesn't happen. I will go to the Berklee College of Music in Boston and major in drum set performance. If someone stole any of my instruments, that, I would well, I have to replace it, but that would, I would deeply, deeply miss them. So, I mean, you do get a connection to your instrument. Music is definitely the, the, the uh, definitive description of who I am, for sure. I, like, I can't think of any other answer than musician. I wouldn't say art is my passion, but it's more like a part of me or my life. I'm not really sure how I got into fashion, but after high school, I'm attending FIDM to pursue my dreams in fashion design. Movies, arts, differences, anything really that captures my attention inspires me. Art will always be a part of my life. It is something I've always done. It's one of the things that makes me different. It's part of my identity. <laughs> I got into swimming when I was three years old because my parents wanted me to learn how to swim just in case anything happened when we go to the ocean or the beach or anything like that. So yeah, and my uncle taught me how to swim too. The relaxation that swimming gives me is just amazing. You're just swimming in there and everything clears off your mind because I feel like a mermaid when I'm in there. Like it's just, I don't know, like I let my hair loose and everything like that and it just feels really nice. So swimming is my favorite sport, but then my family is my passion, just because they've been there ever since I was born. My mom had me in her stomach for nine months, and she took care of me. And my mom and I bond like together, like we're close. Like she teaches me how to cook, and we just gossip and just you know talk about girly stuff. As for my dad, he also teach me there. He's like a role model to me. Um, he's really smart, and he also helps me on my homework, and he tells you know, me about life and what I should know and what I shouldn't do and stuff, so yeah. My family gets me through the day by just working really hard because my parents are at work and they're making the money and supporting our family. And I'm really happy and thankful that they're here for me and my sister all the time. And I love my family very, very much. Without my family, I wouldn't be where I am today and who I am today, so I'm really appreciative of having my family here and supporting me and I don't take life for granted. So honestly, I'm unsure of what I want to do just because I'm so interested in various things. To narrow it down would be extremely difficult. Not knowing my future is secure uh, scares me immensely just because I don't want to waste my time. My time is limited. The world rushes past you so fast and I don't want to procrastinate my life. <laughs> I'm not passionate <laughs> about anything, but I know what I'm naturally talented at, so I kind of just follow that kind of circumstance. Since I don't know anything about my future right now, I'm making today, and I made yesterday, and the next day the best that I could possibly have, ever. Just because, you know, maybe it's not what I want when I grow up, but right now I know that I did something right. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life, but I have confidence in myself, and I know I'm going somewhere. Well, when I graduated high school, 
my plans were to go to a four-year college and study film and to start a new life down in Southern California. Since high school, I've done a lot with my life. I attend Cal State Long Beach now, and I'm hoping to major in film. I've taken a couple classes, and I've gotten the opportunity to work on a bunch of different film sets, from student films to smaller indie productions. I am happier now that, I've, that I'm attending college. I actually, no offense, but I like it way better in Southern California. Even after being home for a couple days, I can't wait to go back as much as I love my friends and family here. But there's just so many more opportunities and um, just life experiences once you give yourself the chance after graduating high school, when you work hard in high school and you open up a lot of doors for yourself and I've seen that and I can't wait to see what else is in store. I honestly, the only way to answer this question is I think that entertaining people will always be a part of my life, whether it be through film or music or a different form of entertainment, that's what I live for and that's why I wanted to get into the film business to begin with. Film and music and entertainment in general will definitely always be a big part of my life. I want to be be a famous Arthur, like Dr. Seuss. Like kids will be like, Helena's a great author. But if that don't happen, then I would like to be a third grader teacher. When I was little. I wanted to be. I remember very strongly wanting to be a scientist when I was little. I can't remember exactly why. And I, and I know I got a microscope one year, and that was fun. I like to look at things in the microscope. But I also wanted to be a ballerina, and I also wanted to be a dancer, another, you know, just a general singer, an actress, and a motocross racer. So I'm not sure how serious I was about the whole scientist thing. I, I got a job as a tutor in the school where I worked, at the community college where I worked. And I started teaching classes like grammar and writing skills as I got older. And I really liked that. I liked working with that information and helping people. And then I thought, oh, well, I, I think I'll do, um, uh, I think I might want to be a, um, a teacher of some sort. It's one F. I think as long as you feel like, um, and just in general, I think as long as teachers feel like they, um, they're they okay with it and they're being fair, if they think about it at all, then they have to be okay with it in that way. And um, I also try to remember that it's one, it's one F and it's a mistake. And, Something they can fix. It's not the end of the world. Am I happy? 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 I think I am.